and welcome to Aquarica. By the way, my name is Michelle, and now we introduce you our C9 friends, the care the trainers one at a time. On your left side is the only male South American C9 player here, and according to his trainer, he is the handsome one. <laughs> So guys, do you have any idea what I call pen or pen for my mom or say any idea? Do they have feathers? Well, let's ask them. Hey boys, do you have feathers? The answer is no. It's actually because of their palm flippers, which are shaped like a bird's wing. See those? The term pretty pens can also be translated as wing puzzle. Since they're flippers, they look somewhat like wings. In fact, they are free to be flying underwater as they swim from place to place, right, buddies? And you know, they're often mistaken as seals because they look very much alike. But some differences between the seals and the sea lion is the fact that they are bigger from rivers. And they can turn their back to the something seals cannot do. As a result, they can walk upright, wide open. And you know what? They also have this long and flexible neck. How flexible? Well, check this out. Wow, so flexible, right? How about another round of applause for C9 things? As you can see, their butt is covered with a thin coat of short coarse hair and the whiskers of the C9 sense of touch. They contain the fibers which make them sensitive. Wow, nice mind. <laughs> they may also use their whiskers to aid in navigation or to detect vibration from rains of water. And their small external ears give them a good sense of hearing both above and below the water surface. Sea lions, like many of my mammals, can see well both above and underwater. They have a keen nine sight but no color vision. In the water, they inhabit water close to shores. Black rock types with diapos and a preference for rocky beaches. They have excellent climbing abilities and can easily scale rocky cliffs. Check that out, sure it's on the rivers. And now let's talk about their swimming abilities. Let us start with the handsome boy, Vincent. Sea lions gen across around 11 miles per hour using the rowing movement of their front. Brothers for steering and dives their normal swim nice and easy. Thanks so much, Vincent, a trainer of BM. But when chasing their prey or escaping predators, they can achieve a first speed of two. Did you know that the U.S. Navy has trained a few of them to take part in a special operation? Yes, that's right. They're able to hold their breath for up to 20 minutes and they can dive hundreds of feet. Abilities that even the best Navy diver would be envious of. And since they cannot be reflected by rain or underwater, they are taught to recognize and avoid underwater mines. And in count of three, everybody will salute and let's make this one loud. So guys, are you ready? Yes. 
title. But it's not. Come on! Are you ready? Yeah! Okay, let's start counting. One, two, three. Salute everybody! Thank you so much. Sea <laughs> lions are also used to search and recover equipment. From the water. Yeah, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Round of applause for Vince from Up Come On. It's a 
hip, feet set, better luck next time. <laughs> and now we've come to the part of the show where one of you will be able to meet beats and applause. If you're willing to volunteer, you have to register, raise your hand, and we're going to trip to one. Come on, let's do this. Make it quick, because the rain is coming. Let's make it faster, all right? While waiting for lucky guests, in case you'd like to know, here at Manila Ocean Park, we have five South American sea lions, consisting of four females and only one male. They came all the way from June, South America. They're right here last July for 2009. Typically, it's a family of gloves and skin with the gloves. Because of their small ears at the side of their heads. Do we have one that trail and end? And did you know that the sea lions of 34 to 38 came in and tip? Especially the sunny for grasping and tearing their food. However, they don't chew it. They swallow it all. Do we have one? Can you raise your hand, please? How about an adult female? Because Vincent is a boy. Come on, raise your hand. Anyone? Oh, I think we've got one. Do we have one head drop? All right, in front. Okay, just make it quick, all right? Little Matt, what's your name? Hey, make your way to Trader B and Vincent. Is it your first time being a tiny sea line of clothes? First time? Well, a different shape is always appropriate. Hold this to strippers. Look at the camera and keep your best smile. Vincent, is that a smile? Oh, okay, right? How about for bonus with Vincent Bob? Okay, closer. Hold it older. Smile, the camera, pump, Facebook, row five. Okay, I think we're done. It's time to say goodbye to our guests. That's fine. Bye, Vincent. Oh, wait, Mom. Why, Vincent? Why, no? Is there something else? All oh, right. What's the trainer being? <laughs> The kiss with Vincent. <laughs> See, it was nice. <laughs> By the way, guys, we would like to invite all of you to a forum encounter with our sea lion friends at Marine Life Habitat, wherein you can get a kiss, a flipper shape, or a walkie shot just like that. If you're interested, all you have to do is to sign up for photographer over here. Wearing the hand green shirt, buy it and sit, grab this opportunity right after the show. Now, this time, would you like to see Helen's number from our sea lion friends? Is anybody here?
heartbreak dance number. Spread some love. <laughs> and another one for our trainers as well. Trainer B and trainer J. We hope you all spend your afternoon here at the Park of the Doom Conference. The South American Sea Lion, Vincent, and St. Joe. And we also hope that even after you leave, you will take experience with you wherever you go. Always remember what we do here at NAM. They affect our friends in the sea. Sea lions like many animals can survive in a tropical environment, so let's keep our surroundings screen. Aside from pollution, there are many other threats to survival all over the world, such as climate change and the legal thing. You can learn more about this inside Oceanarium. Always keep in mind the stores of our planet and us. Each one of us must do what we can to protect and conserve all the inhabitants of our mother earth, including ourselves. So if our sea lions can do it, so can everybody. On behalf of Taylor BNM, Vincent, Taylor JR, and Sandra, and also for the guy in Manila Ocean Park, we would like to thank you all for visiting us today. We hope you can back and visit us again soon. So thank you. A friendly reminder, please remain on your seat and do not cross the yellow line while the sea lines are leaving. Thank you. Take it hard to a sea line friend.